Well, welcome back. Today we're going to work on creating a template for a 40 ounce tumbler, specifically to make or flow. They're a new style they made. The handle is removable. You can have it with just with with or without the handle. Take the top off and screw the top in. You can use it if you've got really big hands, or you can take that off, put the handle on. And then put your lid on, and the lid can go either for left-handed, or if you turn it out till it clicks one time, or right-handed. So I think it's a pretty cool design. Well, let's get started on making a tumbler. First, I'm going to get this lid out of the way and the handle out of the way, and let's switch over here to desktop view so you can see what's going on. And since I'm old, I got to put my glasses on so I can see. Right here, this little paper tape measure, best thing I ever bought for doing tumblers. What I need is the dimension at the top, which I wrap it around, and I measure in centimeters, and you can look right there. Maybe you can see it. But anyway, I'm reading 316 centimeters for my top dimension. That's the thing, with, the important part, the one we need. Then I'm going to take my other ruler, measure from the top down, to, if you see there's just where it just starts to roll, that's where I'm going to stop my measurement at. That's 245 centimeters, or millimeters, excuse me, 245 millimeters top to bottom. So in that dimension, then we also need to where the shape changes, where it starts to roll over. That go looks like it's from 143 to about 160. We're going to go with that, and maybe 161. 143 to 161, just to be safe. So those are the numbers that we need to work with in order to um, make our template. Yeah, sorry, had a little brain brain fog there. All right, let's get into light burn and just show you what's going on here. Huh? Okay. So I already marked in here that my dimensions are three sixteen by two forty five and one forty three to one sixty one. So, we're going to open up, start with a, a rectangle tool, and I've got it on a tool layer. Let me put it on a blue, it might be a little easier. Well, oh, got that turned off. Okay, now it's on blue. So, I'm going to unlock it. We need to type in 316 and then tab 245. Okay, that is our dimensions for our engravable area on this tumbler. Now we need another rectangle to be uh, for about right here for now. We'll move it where we need to. From that width to there. Okay. So that's 316. And 161 minus 143 is 18. So we're going to make this 18 high. Okay. Now, click off that. Where it needs to be is 143 millimeters down. So the top of this guy, I'm going to go for the top. Top of this is at 462. Going to go to the top of this one. Right? Well, that's my exhibition. Never mind. I get that wrong. The top is 135. All right, so this needs to be 135. I'll type in 135 plus 143. And that places that exactly where we need it. So this top part here is the portion above the holes. And this bottom part here is the lower section that goes in the cup holder. So that's that part. Now we need some vertical divisions along here. Let's go back to our rectangle tool and start here and just make one that's full height and select it. So this needs to be 316 divided by 2. I'm going to go 316 divided by 2 is that 158. I'm going to drag this over to the edge. So now we have a line on our dead center. Watch this. I'm going to duplicate it. Command D. 
and move it over. Get this guy snapped in the center right there. So I've got a line here, a line here, and a line there. That gives us four equal spaces. Okay. Now, that's the simple, easy way to do this. I can select everything, group it together. Now, there's a couple other lines we probably want to have in here. Sometimes you might want to be in thirds. So I'm going to do another box and make it make a one third box. You only just snap and drag to the top and bottom and select it. So our dimension is 316. Actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be smart about this. Select the left side. So that's where it's going to anchor at, and it'll move, it'll move towards the left when we change this dimension. So we want 316 divided by 3. We have 105.33. Now we'll duplicate that one. And watch this. I'm going to go plus 105.33. Oh, and I put it in the wrong spot. 620 minus 105.33. And that jumps it over. Now I've got lines there as well. We've got quarter line, our half line, our three-quarter line, our one-thirds, two-thirds. And what I'm going to do, just for, for a little bit of clarity, change these third lines to red. There. Now we've got red. Red on the one-third. I'm going to do one more thing here, make it a little bit easier on us. Convert to a path, select off, select on, grab the node edit tool, hover over the line, press the D key, hover over this line, press the D key, hover over this line, press the D key. So now I just have a single line here and do the same thing on this one, select it, hover over the top, and D, over the side, D, and over the bottom, D. So now we just have two lines, straight lines at our one third and two third mark. Let me um, let me clear out the extra lines on the quarters as well. Why not? So ungroup it. Select this guy and this one. Right click, convert to path. Click off. Okay. Select one of them. Okay, so we need that line and that line. We don't need a two top line. So D and D. Select here. We don't need a top or the far side or the bottom. Okay. So now all we have is three vertical lines at that point, three vertical lines at this point. And I'm not going to bother with doing anything there because that really doesn't matter. So now we want to have a line dead center in here. Get my line tool connected, and it's not going to find the center for me, so I'm just going to click, hold the shift key so it goes straight, drag it over, click, right click to get out of there, Now we'll select. So our distance here is three, where are we at? So our top line, I'm going to go to the top, is 135. plus half of 143, if that makes sense to you. So watch. 135 plus 143 divided by 2, 206.5. All right. Let me check real quick to make sure if my math is correct. So calculator. 143 divided by 2 is 71.5 plus 135 to a 6.5. All right. It did the math for me.
So I find this is just a, a handy line. This is the center from the very top of the mug to the start of the roll. I guess you want to call it the taper. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else to call it. So now what we have is all our lines. Let me group them all together. We have, and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees because the tumbler has to be rotated 90 degrees for tumbler use. So now what we have, that's our template. Just remembering this is the top of the mug, top of the tumbler. It's the bottom. And since this does not have an attached handle, we don't need any tabs or any to take into consideration for the tabs where the handle is attached. So I can delete those numbers, get them out of the way. Save this. And we're going to MF40. Template. All right. So now, whenever I'm working on a, a 40 ounce Maker Flow tumbler, I just pull this template up and move my design into whatever position I need it to be. And the process works the same for every other tumbler, the Yetis, um, the Stanleys. All it's the same process. You just need your dimensions and you build your rectangles to fit those dimensions, put lines wherever you want for guidelines, and that's it. You're good to go. All right. So I hope that this was helpful to you. And next video, I think we're going to actually work on fixing a full wrap design because everyone I've downloaded, I've had to fix. So we'll get into what you got to do, how you test them, and from that. All right. Thank you much. Hope you have a great day. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon.